All right, everybody. Hello, Fit Fam. Coach RJ, Ricky Ricardo, Jenny from the Block, and Big Mama's House of Pain. We are here to bring you your coach's corner. We got an amazing three part topic. So the topics are what do you do when you're really sore? What do you do to push yourself to get to the next workout? And have you ever dealt with an injury? And what was the process of getting back on the blue? And we're going to start with you, Jen. Am I ask, answering all three of those? Yes, ma'am. Just, okay, perfect. So what I used to do when I got sore was drink a lot of water and do extra stretches. But now I have added this <laughs> tissue rejuvenator. I take two after a workout and two uh, before bed, and I'm really finding a difference. So as far as soreness goes, um, the tissue rejuvenator, the water, and the extra stretching always helps me, and that's really what works for me. Um how do I get myself to work out? And I know everybody knows this saying, but I'll say it in my head is you, you never regret a workout. So even if I couldn't go 115%, like I usually do 80% is okay. At least I'm doing it. I, I would regret not going rather than doing the workout. You know what I mean? So I'll always do it. Um, and then as far as injuries goes, yeah, I've had every injury ever. Like I have the sciatica, I have the hamstring, my foot recently, I've had an issue like with the, my shin. Uh, I had a wrist problem when I flipped my bike and I hurt my thumb. So I still powered through the workouts because there's other parts of your body you can use, right? Like if somebody is extremely hurt, then of course you're going to take the time to rest. But if you have a sore wrist, you can still do squats. You can still do abs. Like you can still keep your body going, which in turn keeps your memory, your mind happy. If you're working out, you're happy. If you're sitting at home with an injury, you're upset about it. And the thing about the tissue rejuvenator is one of those things that you won't know that it's working, but you'll know when you stop taking it. And so when I stopped taking the tissue rejuvenator within a day, I'm like, why is my body feel so inflamed? It's so sore. Really? Eh? Yeah. Big time. I, I'm so just I just take it no I'm matter what. Sore. Yeah. I'm not that sore. You know, it's crazy. So what, you, what you cooking? <laughs> Uh, sorry. I can hear the sizzling. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> Asparagus and uh, Here tempeh. We go. Okay, so vegan, we're coming. Vegan. We're coming over to Big Mama. I don't know if Big Mama ever gets sore. She's just giving a hundred ten percent curl in the forties, no problem. So Big Mama, <laughs> what do you do to prevent getting sore? How do you push yourself to do the next workout? And have you ever had an injury? And how did you get yourself back on the blue? All right, those are great questions and great answers from you, Jen. Um, Thanks. So what do I do to prevent myself from getting sore? Well, I don't know about you, but I rather enjoy being sore. Mm -hmm. I really do because it tells me that I've really pushed myself to get to that next level. So I often don't find myself getting sore. Um, and the question to that would be, well, why, right? Why do I certainly get sore some weeks and months rather than at more than others? Question to that would be, well, it all depends on knowing your body, right? Pushing to that next level. So what do I do to get to that next level? There's many different factors that I do. I either wear weighted vests or I wear weighted anklets or one, I'll try to push the, through the full 30 seconds without the break, you know, like without stopping before the 30. So I'm always, there's, there's something that plays in the back of my mind as to the reason as to what is my purpose? What is my why? And what is my reason? Why did I choose to work out today? I choose to work out every day for my fitness and for my well being. So that that's what keeps me going. Um, we all have our different reasons as to why we work out and why what we, you know, whatever. So um, I do, I uh, pardon me, I am a huge advocate and fan of tissue rejuvenator myself. Just like Jen, I actually take it the same time every day in the morning, one in the morning and two at night. And honestly, I'm not even sore anymore. And I really feel that it's because of the tissue rejuvenator, by far the best supplement on the market for me anyways. And uh, what was the last question, RJ? Had an injury and oh, did yeah. you have, and how'd you get sore? <laughs> uh, you're no? talking to a person that's battled two grand mal seizures, kidney failing, mm -hmm. uh, liver failing, so what did I do to overcome those battles? Well, one, internally I was dying, so I had no choice but to get better. I have an ongoing hamstring issue that is forever, forever, forever an issue. But again, not in the last six months since the tissue rejuvenator. So when I am hurt, I listen to my body. If I have to take a rest day, I take that rest day. Or like Jen said, if it's my hamstring that's bothering me and I know that it's all leg day, 
clearly I'm not going to be doing squats or deadlifts. I'm probably going to work on my, you know, my abs or my, my arms. Right. So what I, the advice I can give to you guys out there is know your body, know your injury. And most importantly, if you are really hurt, listen to your doctor, your physiotherapist and, and get the, you know, get them to tell you certain things that you can and can't do. Right. Cause we're not doctors here, but uh, we definitely are doctors of uh, workouts and love. And we, we love everything about what we do. So Try not to get hurt, tissue rejuvenator, push past it, know your purpose, know your reason and your why. Well, it's funny you say that because Rick calls himself Dr. Feelgood. (laughs) (laughs) For all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong reasons, yeah. (laughs) And you know what, just talking about working with your physio, working with your doctor, I think that if you have a really good physio, you have a really good doctor, really good chiropractor, et cetera, et cetera, I think that they should... um, have a line of communication. So like there should be a communication between us. So Jen, big mama, RJ and the coaches and that, the practitioner, because I find that there's often a disconnection, yeah. right? The doctor, his quick answer is to, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Cause he doesn't know what Rest. you do in your life. He's yeah. He's just like, take six weeks off for a sprained thumb. Mm-hmm. Right. And then we're like sprained thumb, dude, like, <laughs> you know, like that person doesn't even have an arm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what do you need to sprain thumb for? So it's like, I would like to see, so moving forward, is a, a, a line of communication between your doctor and us, right? And if, whether it, t- it takes them to write a little bit of a note, you know, why? Why you can't work out? Like, what is it that's, like, hindering you? Because we can work with you, right? Like, we can work with whatever you come to us. Obviously, if there's something where, you know, it's super battling and, we, you know, that's way beyond our scope. But the majority of the stuff that I've seen in the past of them – telling you to not work out, we can work with, right? And so when it comes to what do I do to prevent myself from getting sore, I think it's what don't I do so that I don't, so I can feel good the next day. And so what happens is like the tissue rejuvenator, I stop taking the tissue rejuvenator, the next day I feel achy, sore in my joints. If I start eating more acidic foods, meaning like there, you could just like spiral and do three days and, and realize, hey, yeah. I can't even eat vegetables, right? Like I have no problem with that water. I've always been eating a lot of water, but it's easy for me to eat the wrong foods. And then, you know, just because they're diet foods or they don't add calories or not going to make me fat, whatever, they're still acidic. And so when I eat like that, that's when I start to notice it. And also like, uh, I don't know what it's like to not be sore and just like big mama. I like that. Right. <laughs> like I, like I'm always fidgeting. Right. And I just wouldn't even know what it's like to not have that. But I honestly, I like that feeling. That's just something that's innate in me. I love every workout, yeah. right? Like I want to, I want to give it my best. I want to go hard. And in the end, it, it helps me. Um, you know, my motivation is obviously to look great, keep the shirt off. But at, at the same time, I like to look forward to what I eat at night. <laughs> so and your treats, it, it, my treats, baby. Yeah, and it. then last but not least, yeah, I had an injury two years ago complete knee fracture the leg was completely mobilized i would say i was down to 10 percent of my strength in my complete right leg i was braced from uh, up to the hip all the way down to the ankle uh thanks to uncle rick who used to always pick me up and bring me to the gym but how did i get through it literally i was on the blue here i was on my crutches i was kind of off to the side i just wanted to be in the environment that was the key thing i didn't want to sit at home with my leg up popping a painkiller watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I did that for two days and I was like, enough, I got to get out. And I had to be around the environment. And even if it was me just lifting my foot two inches off the floor, I said, that is 1% better than the one inch that I did yesterday. So how did I get through that? Is that it was just a progressive thing. I didn't sit and wait and get approval and get clearance and be told every single step of how to get this knee back to 100%. I just did what I felt was right. I did what I felt I needed to do, and I kept doing it. And today, no problems. Boom, baby. Question Ricardo. Question one. I forgot. Sore. Soreness. (laughs) (laughs) I hear you. you. (laughs) How do you prevent soreness? Uh, Stretch and warm up would be be the number one thing. Uh, Warm up, yes. To um, to Michelle's point about um, she enjoys the pain just like yourself. And I think what people have to realize is – Regardless of what you do, whether you're a workout person or not, you're going to experience pain. Mm-hmm. And we have to learn to live with pain, and we shouldn't be okay with – or we shouldn't be on this on this mission to be pain-free, right? Mm-hmm. So, for example, when I was uh, a little heavier, I suffered from extreme indigestion, heartburn, um, stomach aches. Upset stomach. Explosive diarrhea. 
You know what I mean? Your joints always hurt because you're carrying an extra 40 pounds. Yeah. So that's one kind of pain. Mm. Fast forward to a different kind of pain where you're at the gym, you feel better, but you're lifting heavy weights. Like yesterday or two days ago, we uh, did a, Jen and I did a heavy chest day, and I'm yeah. feeling it today. And yesterday, I couldn't even move. But how do we get through it? Came here. I did a 50% workout yeah. uh, capacity. So mm. I was barely moving. You would think that I was yeah. a 100-year-old man. But I, I, I still went ahead and did it. Mm -hmm. I tried to get the uh, heart rate elevated and the body warmed up. And that's how I would work through pain. So is that, would that be the same thing with an injury? Um, uh, possibly, um, injury. I'm, I'm very much on, on, uh, in agreement with you. I feel like, uh, you know, if you're not doing anything about it is the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to, if you uh, don't use it, you're going to lose it type thing. So yes, if you're, if you're injured, there's always other things that you can do, but if you want to strengthen it up, you got to use it at some capacity. So there we go. Yeah. If you don't use it, you lose it. You heard it from us, the coaches, this is coaches corner. I hope you, uh, like this. Give it a like, comment if you uh, enjoy being sore. Also, let us know what it is that you're using as a supplement that helps get through the soreness. And uh, maybe if you had an injury, and uh, how did you get back to the health and status that you're at now? Coach Rick, RJ, Big Mama, Jenny from the block. We'll see you on the on blue. On the blue-ish. In your living room. <laughs> In your living room. Use the screensaver.